Strictly for the culture. Brothers and sisters, you have seen the t-shirts, the hats, the hoodies, the mugs. In the hands of some of your favorite pro wrestling stars, podcasters, and influencers out there. And now it's time. Visit strictlyfortheculture.ca and you too can be part of the movement. Bigger than sweatshirts and commercial success, Strictly for the Culture aims to build with like-minded people and elevate their position in the world through knowledge, self-love, and a desire to unite. So what are you waiting on? Visit strictlyfortheculture.ca. Do it for the love. Do it for the knowledge. Most importantly, folks, do it strictly for the culture. Look at what we have here, folks. To the only show that matters. The cream of the crop. Duke loves wrestling. And there is no one that does it better than your host. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. The Duke. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Hi, this is Shannon Knapp, president of Invicta Fighting Championships. And you're listening to Duke Loves Wrestling. Brothers and sisters, you know that here at Duke Loves Wrestling, we are very serious about uh, women athletes and women's sports. We have been fortunate enough with our listening audience to have a very unusual uh, demographic situation here. For the past four plus years of Duke Loves Wrestling, the majority of our listeners are women. Highly unusual for a show that's primarily about pro wrestling and MMA, but I believe part of the reason why is because we do not hesitate to have women on here to highlight the great things uh, women are doing in pro wrestling, mixed martial arts and beyond, and we're going to continue that. I'm very serious about that, which is exactly why we have our friend, uh, a member of the Pro Sports Hall of Fame, legitimately a legend when it comes to matchmaking in the mixed martial arts world and she is so excited to let us know about the great things happening in her company invicta fighting championship so without further ado welcome back shannon knapp how you doing there shannon doing great and you're just way too kind that was quite the introduction so thank you for the very kind words well, it's, it's it, it, you know, you and I have talked about this a lot through the years. I just, I'm fascinated by the fact that you've been able to remain so grounded, despite the fact that you're literally a legend. Like this is this is not somebody just complimenting you. It's it's exactly who you are. You are a legend, and the proof is in the pudding. When anyone looks at the cards that you've put together, it's always exciting. It's always fun. It's always well balanced. Um, you do a great job, and, and you deserve the, that praise. Well, thank you. That, like I said, that is incredibly kind. Um, I don't know that I look at myself as a legend by any stretch of the imagination, but what I do think is that I care about the athletes, and I care about the matchups, and I do my best to ensure that they are fair and equitable and that it's entertainment that the fans want to see. Well, certainly it's entertainment that the fans want to see. And and listen, Invicta FC 55, Friday, June 8th at Memorial Hall in Kansas City. Talk to me about this because you folks have just recently signed a major broadcast partner for this event and for a few events coming up afterwards, right? Yeah, actually, you know, that's the exciting news that right now is – that yes, we did. Uh, we have a multi fight agreement with the CBS Sports Network. So it's really an exciting time. We've mapped out the rest of the year. Um, so yeah, we have a great partnership. And, you know, it, it's, it's very exciting internally. It's very exciting for the athletes. It's just, a, you know, a great partnership. One that I hope that, you know, we foster along and goes longer than just this year. Absolutely. And listen, shout out to our friends over there at CBS Sports. This is a major pickup here in Victa FC. I mean, you, you couldn't get any better. And certainly with Invicta FC 
55 kicking off this partnership. Ooh, what a card you have here, Shannon. I mean, you know, the, the bantamweight title match between Bernardo and uh, Ruben. This is going to be a knockdown drag out fight, right? Yeah, this is a high, in my opinion, you know, it's a high quality main event. Definitely. I mean, it, it, I mean, Bernardo doesn't want to give up the belt and Olga's coming for that belt. So I think that there's just a lot of heat on this fight enough that uh, it's going to be really good. You know, when I was putting this matchup together with, you know, and I do have others, I work with my team when we were talking about this matchup and everybody's excited about it. It's just one of those fights that's really going to solidify who really belongs as our champion in, in that regard. Olga's coming off, you know, a, a submission in her last outing that you know, was uh, went up for submission of the year, the MMA awards. And Talita, she's, she's tough. She's going to be hard to beat, but, it, you know, with, that's the combination that makes it a great fight. It makes it a great fight indeed. I mean, folks, this is going to be potential uh, match of the year, no doubt about it, because two great fighters who are serious. This isn't playtime. These are professionals here. So you're, you're going to see a battle. No two ways about it. What other matches? What other matches on the card do you feel are really going to stand out and, and pop the crowd there? Well, now, Duke, you know, I think uh, all of them are going to be that way. <laughs> well, that's why they're on this, you know, the card. I, you know, I always look at it this way. There are not easy fights in Invicta. But what we do here at Invicta is we build champions. And, you know, we test our athletes. We, you know, we just don't give give me's. But we never throw our athletes in the deep end. So what in when you structure fight cards like that, what you really get is you get really competitive, compelling matchups. And so for me, I think every fight on this card is going to be great. You know, we've got uh, Sayori Oshima that's coming in. She's from Japan and she's the deep jewels champion there. I'm excited to see her on this card. And, you know, so we've got new talent that's coming through that I'm just excited to see on the card. But when you match them up with their opponents, it becomes really a great fight, if that makes any sense. Oh, it makes perfect sense. And I, I'm telling you, folks, there is something so special about Invicta Fighting Championship cards because exactly what Shannon is saying, they're so well matched. It's it's. And then you say to yourself, well, of course they are. You literally have a Hall of Famer. She's literally in the Pro Sports Hall of Fame for this exact reason, because she's so great at matchmaking. It's it's really, really interesting when you think about all the matches that you'll see in Invicta and just how competitive they are for the most part. Uh, it matters. It certainly does matter there. I, I wonder, Shannon, what's going to happen next? I mean, you got this great distribution deal with CBS Sports now um, for your next couple of fights there. What else? What else do we have going cooking in the uh, in the pot, so to speak? Well, I think we've always got something going on over here, <laughs> even when we're not moving fast. We, you know, we're always thinking and, you know, branching out and trying to find ways to make combat sports better for women. So I, I know I talked about this before, but it's still on my agenda with the boxing, you know, uh, kickboxing and some type of a jujitsu style event under the Invicta banner. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to roll those out sometime very soon. But yeah, we're always thinking about growing, you know, and moving forward and doing what we can to really make a difference for the women in the sport. And thankfully, women's sports are really being more embraced than they have in the past. So I think that kind of knocks down some barriers for us and opens up, you know, the roadway for us to make some good changes. So we're really excited about that. Absolutely. And, and listen, like you said, you know, women's sports is really moving up in the forefront. Uh, the WNBA, they're breaking records with attendance and, and television viewership and what have you. You have the Olympics on the horizon here. You know folks are going to get excited about all the women's sports in the Olympics as well. That energy continues to carry. And certainly when it comes to Invicta fighting championships, it's right there as well. For, for folks who are listeners that you know, they work in different areas in terms of event 
promotion their own selves. That, you know, we even have some folks who work in government who listen to the show. Yeah. If there are cities that would love to have Invicta put on events in their city, do you have any advice? What's the best way that they can reach out to you and your team and, and start having these types of conversations? Well, certainly they can reach out to me. I'm very approachable and always eager to hear anything that anybody's got to say in that regard. So uh, certainly reach out to me if if someone is interested in hosting an event. And let's see if we can get a deal done. You always want to go somewhere you're welcome, right? Absolutely. Folks, <laughs> you want Invicta FC in your city. There's no two ways about it. Again, the, the excellence of the matchmaking, the fact that they're, you know, have this partnership with CBS Sports. So these are big match, big event feels there. The tax revenue generated from having a major promotion, the number one, the only right now, uh, all women's MMA promotion that's doing it on this scale, Invicta Fighting Championships. Reach out to these folks. Definitely, you know, do what you got to do. Let's let's have your municipality meet with these folks and see if they can bring Invicta to you so you can enjoy that firsthand. Uh, but if you can't catch it, definitely you got to tune in on CBS Sports because Invicta 55, it's coming right around the corner there. June 28th, Memorial Hall, Kansas City. Can't wait. Once again, uh, Shannon, we appreciate you. You are so wonderful. We appreciate all the wonderful athletes that you continue to uh, provide opportunities for. I mean, certainly. And I just can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Well, thank you. Like I said, thank you for the kindness. And thank you for always supporting us. We can't do it alone. It, it takes all of us to make that difference. And we're certainly grateful and thankful to you, Duke. Till next time, be kind to yourselves and be kind to others. Take it away, Tony Schiavone. This is Tony Schiavone, and we're desperately out of time on Duke Love Wrestling.